Hey everybody, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the AI ticker chat ChatGPT plugin that you can use to retrieve stock insights from the SEC filings as well as from earnings call transcripts. So if you want to learn more about this plugin, I have a full tutorial on my website ROIHacks.com where you can also check out some of the best prompt examples you can use this plugin with. And you can also get access to a complete database of all currently available ChatGPT plugins that can be installed from the ChatGPT plugin store. You can search this plugin database by category, plugin name, description, and get quick access to ChatGPT plugin video tutorials, the best use cases and prompts for all available ChatGPT plugins. The database can be downloaded for free, but you can also support the maintenance and the frequent updates of the database with a small donation. Any support is appreciated. You can get access to this database by using the link in the description below. But now let's see an example on how to use the AI ticker chat chat GPT plugin. So before you would be able to use this plugin and interact with the plugin to get earnings call transcripts, you have to go through a process if you haven't used plugins before. So you have to be a plus subscriber and you also have to enable plugins in your chat GPT account. If you don't know how to do this, I have tutorials on my YouTube channel that you can check out. So once plugins are enabled in your account, you have to click on new chat and then make sure that GPT-4 is selected from the model selector and from the drop-down select plugins. Once plugins are selected, you have to make sure that the AI ticker chat chat GPT plugin is installed. If it's not in your installed plugin list, you have to scroll down here and click on plugin store and install the plugin. Last but not least, once the plugin is installed, you have to enable the AI ticker chat chat GPT plugin. So you're going to be able to interact with it and you can enable the plugin by clicking the checkbox next to the name of the plugin. All right, so let's see a quick example and we're going to use the following prompt. Retrieve the earnings transcript for Tesla Inc. For 2023 Q1 quarter and give a detailed summary of this transcript. So once you have it your prompt, you can click on generate. If you want to customize this prompt, you can do that. As I mentioned, you can check out some example prompts in the article I have mentioned below. So as you can see, you don't have to use any kind of function or fancy codes. ChatGPT is clever enough to know that if the AI ticker chat ChatGPT plugin is enabled, it has to use this plugin to be able to get the earnings transcript for any publicly traded company. So as you can see, this is what the plugin has done. It has first made our natural language query to a more understandable language for the plugin. And then as you can see in the second request, it has scraped the complete Q1 earnings transcript for Tesla Inc. So as you can see, this is the complete transcript. It's really long. And based on that transcript, ChatGPT has provided a summary for us to the Tesla Inc's earnings call. So as you can see, they talked about the financial performance of Tesla, the production and deliveries, the new factories of Tesla, the energy business, the autonomous driving, so Tesla FSD technology, the future outlook, and they also had a QA in session. And ChatGPT has given us a detailed summary of each of these sections. So of course, if you have more questions about the Tesla FSD, you can ask about that, what was said about that in this earnings call. So all in all, this is how to use the AI ticker chat chat GPT plugin. If you want to learn more about other chat GPT plugins that you can use for finance, cryptocurrency, business, productivity, marketing, and a lot more, you can check out a ton of chat GPT plugin tutorials on our YouTube channel and more are coming up. So make sure to subscribe. And also, if you want to get access to the complete chat GPT plugin database that includes categories, searchable descriptions, and more, you can also find the link to that in the video description below.